of Dwayne Ingalls Glasscock. When we last left Dwayne, he was in the midst of a moral dilemma. His little friend Martin was kidnapped by the evil Reverend Tinko Tool, who wants Dwayne to read a message over Radio D.I.G. that will spread the word. We join Dwayne now as he searches his soul to find the answer to his predicament. Ah! to be on the radio but now now I am faced with the ultimate decision of my life is it nobler to suffer the slings and arrows of the large corporation to have my radio shift and do what the Reverend Dinko Tool says thereby freeing my friend Martin from the pangs of outrageous misfortune or and this is the important part should I fight the large corporation? That corporation that believes that only large people go to heaven. That corporation that preaches justice but breeds injustice. That believes in liberty for nobody. The corporation that steals little Martians from their friends like me just so they can get their own stupid way. What should I do? What should I do to be or not to be? What should I be? Let me ponder for a brief Jeez, you can waste more time than anybody I ever met in my life. What are you talking about? I'm about to make a major league decision here, and I don't need you pestering me again. Okay, it's up to you, but I just thought I'd give you an easy way out of all this. What do you mean? I don't understand. I mean, if you don't want to listen to me, that's your business. But, but I... wait a second, wait a second, I don't understand. I mean, how can you possibly help me? You've got... I've been working for this large corporation for 30 years. But now. I don't understand how you can help me. How can you, a lowly plumber? I've been around here for 30 years and I know how these people work and I can help you get around them. I'm the only one. Little did you know when it come time to cash in your chips, I owe that I'd be your banker. Well, listen, I still don't understand what you're up to. You want your airship, right? Right. And you want to save your friend, right? Right. But you don't want to help those jerks spread their stupid word, right? Right. Well then, okay, you better go with me. You got nothing to lose, right? Let's go for it. Come on, hi -o. Okay. Well, let's go for it. There you go. I knew you didn't have no flies on you. Atta boy. Well then, this lends an interesting twist to our story, doesn't it? Dwayne and the plumber are going to go after the large corporation. Tune in next time when we'll hear Dwayne say... I have met the enemy, and they are ours. Right here on the further adventures of Dwayne Ingalls Glasscock on WBCN. WBCN presents the further adventures of Dwayne Ingalls Glasscock. Dwayne is supposed to spread the word, but he doesn't want to. He's the only DJ at Pirate Radio DIG, and because he won't spread the word, his boss, the evil Tinko Tool, has kidnapped Dwayne's friend, Martin the Martian. Dwayne and a plumber, whose name is either Christopher or Jack, are going to take on the large corporation and try and rescue Martin. They picked on the wrong guy this time. Look out, large corporation, because here I come, Dwayne Ingalls Glasscock. I got the eye of the tiger. It's the eye. Wait, will you stop? I'm trying to learn the words. I know that's a lovely song, and I know you're excited, but we got work to do. Come on. Wow. What is this room? It looks like Battlestar Galactica or something. Well, this here, my dear pally, is the nerve central of this satellite and of Radio DIG. It's from this room where all the electrical elements are put into sound waves and sent to Earth. Wow, this is excellent. All these lights and wires and stuff. Hey, what's this big white box here? Oh, that's Maxie. Maxie? Like the pets? Huh? No, he's a computer and his name's Maxie. He's the key to what we're doing here. How's that, Chris? What do you mean? I mean, Jack? I mean, Chris? You see, hi -O, you do your radio show from the studio over there. You press your assortment of various buttons, and the Maxi here finds the right tape on the right record and puts it all together and sends it out into space. Does he play Space Invaders? I got a... Oh, he's not that kind of computer, but he is the kind of computer that can help us out. Now, hand me those pliers over there. What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to take the Unistavius pin here and attach it to the phonograph.
Rodney Wire over there. Right. And then before you can say Roto Rooter, whammo, success. Whammo indeed. But let's hope that the plumber and Dwayne will get things moving before it's too late and Martin becomes an ex Martian. Tune in tomorrow when we'll hear Christopher say Clams of Chowder. That song was not written that way. On the further adventures of Dwayne Ingalls Glasscock on WBCM. Dwayne Ingalls Glasscock. The large corporation is angry at Dwayne for not reading their messages. They have kidnapped Dwayne's pal, Martin the Martian, and their plans for him are not noble. Christopher the Plumber, who sometimes is referred to as Jack, has taken Dwayne to Radio DID's Nerve Central. Together they are working on a computer named Maxie, who will hopefully help save Martin. So you see, hi yo, Maxie here was programmed to listen to the self-righteous evil Tinko Tool and to send the radio signals to him and then to Earth. Ratchet wrench, please. Ratchet wrench. Thank you. Could you go on? I'm not, I'm not trying to understand what you mean. Now what we got to do is reprogram old Maxie so that he'll do what we want him to do. Oh, like he'll fix us lunch? No, oh, you dummy. You're thinking of scrambled eggs. I'm thinking of scrambled signals to the large corporation headquarters so that they'll think you're saying what they want you to say. But wait a minute. What if I'm hungry? Get off of it, hi -oh. We got to save your friend Martin. Hand me that tape there. This tape here? No, that tape there. You mean this tape here? No, that there. Tape. Oh, that tape! Yeah! Thank you. Now, in a minute, the unilateral crystalloid will be adjusted and we'll be able to talk to Maxie here. Hey, what's that sound? What sound? That clicking. It sounds sort of like when a needle's at the end of a record. When the needle's at the end of a record? Yeah. A re oh, a record! Oh, Chris, I, f I forgot I'm still on the radio. Look at, uh, I gotta go, Chris. I gotta go. Here's the rest of your tools. I'll be in the studio if you need me. What a stoop. I'm surprised anybody would hire him. Me too. But if he didn't have a job, then neither would I. So, keep your sets tuned tomorrow when we'll hear Dwayne say... <sighs> Hello, Ray Groot! On the further adventures of Dwayne Ingalls Glasscock, right here on WBCN. Presents the further adventures of Dwayne Ingalls Glasscock. Dwayne Glasscock is trying to rescue his kidnapped pal Martin, his favorite Martian. And he's going to do it with the help of Christopher the Plumber and Maxie the Wonder Computer. Hopefully, they'll get Martin away from the large corporation before it's too late and Martin becomes a piece of cheese. A piece of cheese? Why cheese? Okay, then you'll be pushing up daisies. Daisies, I like that better. Oh, what am I saying? I don't know, but I do know that we now join Christopher Plummer, who is now hard at work while listening to Radio D.I.G. Do 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 your sister Rose is dead, ya da da dee dee dee. We make an adjustment here and another one there, and this computer is ready to go. Hi, yo. Thank you. Hey, no problem, huh? My name is Maxie. Oh, Maxie, how you doing there? I'm doing fine, and yourself. Well, I need your help, Maxie. You see, there's this pinwheel on board named Dwayne Glasscock. You know, he's in trouble and I like the guy, so I figures I want to help him out, you know? Yes. So, this Martian friend of his gets kidnapped by the Lodge Corporation. You know them, right? We, oui, monsieur. But what's happening with Dwayne in the studio of Radio D.I.G.? Radio D.I.G. Out of space. <laughs> and that's the truth. And now a 45-day version of I Got the Eye of the Tiger. These are not the Rolling Stones, but they're really excellent. And besides, I'll be able to catch some shed eye. And then after that, 40 weeks, maybe even 50 if the record doesn't run out. There's a lot of time before the voice actually starts singing, so I can talk. It's called talk up time at the beginning of the record. So I'll just keep going until the voice of the eye of Tony the Tiger starts singing. A lot of DJs think this is hard to do, but actually it's very easy. So let me talk for a minute about the Samaritans. They are really good. Well, he's obviously going to go on for quite a while. So let's go back to where Maxie the Wonder Computer describes the plan of action to Christopher. So by scrambling the signal, the large corporation will hear exactly the opposite of what Dwayne is saying. Thereby, they will think he has read their messages and will release said Martian. Martin. Oh, so if Dwayne says hot, they'll hear cold. And if he says yes, they'll hear no. What if he says tomato? They'll hear tomato. Tomato indeed. Tune in, tomato, and we'll hear the evil Reverend Tinko Tool say... Yes, Mr. Large. I'm certain Dwayne will spread the word. Tomato. And maybe he will on the further adventures of Dwayne Ingalls Glasscock, right here on the station that we'd like to call WBCN. <laughs> With the, 
a large corporation wants Twain to read their evil messages over outer space radio D.I.G. These messages spread an evil philosophy called the word. Twain refused, so large corporation heavy Tinko Tool kidnapped Twain's friend Martin. That's me. We know that. And if Twain doesn't do something fast, you'll be sorry. Oh, what's Twain doing about all this? Let's find out now as we join Christopher the Plumber, Dwayne, and Maxie the Wonder Computer. What are we waiting for? Okay, 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 okay. So when I press this button here, whatever I, Dwayne Glasscock, say will be scrambled up at the Lodge Corporation headquarters, and so they'll hear something different than what I'm really saying? Nat, and the people on Earth will hear what you really say. Excellent. Okay, Maxie, you think you're going to be able to handle all this scrambling? Lack of perspiration. What did it say? It said, no sweat. Cheeks, nine zillion dollars to teach a computer to talk, and you don't even understand what it's saying. What a waste of dough. Ready to begin testing. Okay, stand by, hi -o. Now, when we press this button, anything you say will be heard all scrambled up by the large corporation. And we'll have a speaker so we can hear what they hear. I'm ready for your input, Dwayne. Oh, okay, okay. Press this button. Okay, testing. One, two, three, and here I go. Sukiyaka Hamashora. Bunurakaseki wants some seafood, mama. I got the eyes of the chowder, and I'm going to get the rapa dapa lapa. What soft, wet light through yonder window breaks. It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon that has brought down thy love child like a noble. Okay, it works. Wow, how'd you get me to do all that Shakespeare stuff? I know you're gonna find this hard to believe, but I never read any Shakespeare in my life. I was set to the Shakespeare program. So if I want Dink O'Toole to hear me spreading the word... I set it to the large program. Wow, I get it. So one program is the large program that the large corporation hears, and the other program is what's really being said, and you're doing it, and I'm sure glad because I would have been in a heck of a mix, a hell of a fixation if, I, if there was just only... Go to your studio. I am set on the large program. Yeah, hi oh, Let's get moving here. Okay, hey, thanks, guys. I did it. I got the eye of the chowder. The tiger is in me, and it's perfect. So maybe Martin will be saved from a fate worse than death as Dwayne tricks the large corporation into thinking that he has spread the word. Tune in next time when we'll hear Dwayne say... Grease is the word. It's the word. On the it's further the adventures word. of Dwayne Ingalls Glasscock on WBCN. Presents the further adventures of Dwayne Ingalls Glasscock. Dwayne has been hired to spread the word at Outer Space Radio D.I.G. And since he won't do it, his Martian friend Martin was abducted by Dwayne's boss, the evil Reverend Tinko Tool, and put into a cell at Large Corporation headquarters. Dwayne and Christopher the Plumber have devised a scrambling system where the Large Corporation will hear Dwayne spreading the word, even though in reality he isn't. Okay, you mean all I gotta do is broadcast normal like I do all my other shifts? Yeah, you just do like normal. Normal. And then when you want to spread the word, or not, be that as it may, just hit this toggle switch right here. Okay, that toggle switch there? Yeah, this one here. Which, th that one here? This one there. Okay, stand by, I'm going on the air. Dwayne Glasscock, Afternoon Guy. Hello, Rangoon Earthlings and Outer Spacers. You are listening to Outer Space Radio, D-I-G. And right now, I have a word that I have to say, or two. Okay, let me see here now, which button do I... Okay, okay. People must wear shirts like the Minnesota Twins. Cut butter with a knife, stay at the Hilton, everything will be A-OK -okay in December. You ring-a-ling that Christmas bell. That's what the people of Earth are hearing. But at large corporation headquarters, they're hearing something totally different. I have a word that I have to say. People of the Earth, repent all your sins. Live the good and decent life. Arm your children. Remember, there are no fire escapes in hell. This message was brought to you by the Large Corporation, Inc. <laughs> you see, Mr. Large, I told you. I told you he'd spread the word. And in the cell of Martin the Martian... Oh, Dwayne, you breached your values just to save me. Now I can be free. Take a seat, half pint. You ain't going nowheres. But you promised if he read the word that you'd let me go. I lied. 
<laughs> oh, no! Well, it looks as if the Reverend Tinko Tool is sneakier than we thought, keeping Martin locked up as he does. Tune in tomorrow when we'll hear Martin say... Attica! Attica! On the Fourth of Adventures of Twain Ingalls Glasscock, right here on WBCA!